everybody. Welcome. It's been a great day for a wedding, and we're happy to have everybody here. It's just a great day. Um, as you know, I'm John Hunterberg. I'm Jane's very proud dad, and Joe's worst nightmare. His new father-in-law. Just kidding, Joe. So I want to thank everyone for joining us today to celebrate Jane and Joe's very special day. I also want to give my wife, Connie, a big thank you. She worked so hard on this for the last months. And yeah, it was definitely a labor of love. So thank you. A few words to describe my daughter, Jane. She's funny, passionate, intelligent, hardworking, and good looking. She definitely gets those traits from me. Of course, she's also creative, also known as crafty. She's caring loving, and kind, which she gets from her mother. <laughs> I remember the day that Jane was born. We were so excited to have a girl. She was the first granddaughter in our family. So it was a big deal. It also meant that we were done having kids. <laughs> we had the perfect family. I can't believe how fast she's grown. It seems just like yesterday, she was playing with Barbies, writing songs about our crabby neighbor, <laughs> and performing plays in our basement with her friends. We really enjoyed watching Jane play in the many sports through her school years. I especially enjoyed helping coach Jane on her volleyball and softball teams. During high school, she found out she had a passion for working with kids. And she also perfected the art of hanging out with her friends, which she still does today. She's always on the go. We're very proud of Jane uh, from graduating for college uh, with her teaching degree. And she's recently worked on her master's degree. And so we're very proud of her for doing that. We know whatever Jane chooses in life, she's going to succeed in it. So we're very, very proud of you, Jane. We love you. Now, now a few words to describe Joe. He's quiet. Sometimes. <laughs> Intelligent, hardworking, competitive, and strong. <laughs> we got to know Joe during the pandemic years as he was a guest at our house. <laughs> he was always up for a conversation about work and life and always willing to pitch in with whatever needed to be done around the house or the cabin. I have kind of a funny story about Joe's strength. So I'll make this kind of quick. <laughs> so we're always getting packages at our house. And I, I came home from work one day, and there was this huge piece of furniture on our front step. And I thought, there's no way I can pick this up. So I'm just going to slide it in the front door until Joe gets home. <laughs> and I went to try to move the package, and I couldn't even move it. So Joe got, got home and I thought, well, I'll, I'll ask Joe to help you know, move it in the house. And he just goes up to the front step and he just picks it up <laughs> like, it's, like it's nothing. Carries it in the garage and just kind of gives me a smile. <laughs> so he's very strong. <laughs> I still don't know how he did it. I also got to know Joe's competitive side this year. This winter, we started playing pickleball with our friends, 
and he thoroughly enjoyed running me around the court, <laughs> reminding me that I wasn't 25 anymore. <laughs> so thanks for that. <laughs> but I did get a chance to give Joe a, a golfing lesson this year as well. After a long day on the course, he vowed that he was going to beat me someday. I wish you luck. <laughs> Joe will also be successful at whatever he does as failure is not an option. We are so happy to welcome Joe and his family into our family. So welcome Swansons, we, we welcome that. Marriage is a challenging proposition. It requires good communication, constant compromise, and forgiveness. Whenever you're wrong, admit it. Whenever you're right, just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so please raise your glasses and join me in wishing Jane and Joe a long, healthy, and very happy future together. Shelly, I'm the maid of honor. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna get started. Um, I have prepared a speech that I've written so many times, <laughs> as I don't think there are enough words to express my love for Jane, my very best friend. This is a little awkward for me, as I thought her and I would get married, but here we are. <laughs> Joe, we can uh, discuss our scheduling later. <laughs> Jane, ever since I've met you in college nearly 10 years ago, my life has changed in more ways than I can express, but I'll try my best. <laughs> we met in a sorority, way beyond our comfort zone, <laughs> and we found comfort in each other's friendships instead, and we became sisters. We have picked each other up, wiped each other's tears away, laughed until we cried, and cried until we laughed. We've seen each other grow into different versions of ourselves, growing and learning to be who we are today. I am thankful to be able to grow alongside you and to continue to forever. Though I have many stories I could tell, they feel very sacred to me. So, so sorry guys. <laughs> you are the most kind-hearted, loving, admirable person I have ever met. Jane is someone you can always count on, especially when you're hungry, because she always has the best snacks. <laughs> she is so inspiring, and it is so amazing to see all of you here today to celebrate Joe and Jane. It's inspiring to see the love that you give to other people so willingly. And it's no surprise how easily Joe has fallen for you. I'm happy to stand here next to you, well, and see you two sitting next to each other, and see you next to someone who loves you so much and who loves you as much as I do, which is saying a lot. <laughs> uh, you became my sister when I first met you, and that remains true to this day. You deserve all the love in the world, and Joe, better give it to her. <laughs> Congratulations to these two punks, who we all love so much. May your marriage be filled with love and happiness. You both deserve it. Cheers to the beautiful bride and groom. I love you both.
Hi, it's me again. First, I'd like to thank Connie and John for hosting this beautiful ceremony. For those of you who don't know me, I am just Joe's good friend, Nate. While Jane may have secured the ring today, I like to think that I will always be Joe's first love. <laughs> I first met Joe 60 years ago through work, where we would catch each other at the end of the day and chat for a bit. Our friendship started how I'm sure most of his friendships start, with him talking at me, seemingly able to go on forever, and me giving my strongest Minnesota goodbye when I couldn't take any more. I'm not sure where Joe got the gift of gab, but I assume growing up in a household of five men to one woman, Joe took after his feminine side to help the imbalance. After several of these after-hour decompression meetings and finally getting some words in, we took our conversations to the bar over a round of beers. This is where we discovered our mutual love for pool and our ongoing rivalry began. While it was even at first, I wanted to take this opportunity to announce in front of witnesses that I have greatly surpassed him in skill. <laughs> Over the next few years, we took our games to every table we could find that was halfway between where we were living at the time. We grew much closer over those rounds of pools, and the more I got to know Joe, the more I discovered the depth of character he truly has. As well as being a talker, he is also a great listener, and we have shared much more than common interests. I have learned, to come, I have learned and come to greatly appreciate there is nothing I can't confide in him. We might not always share the same perspective, but his intelligence, thoughtful consideration, and analytical way of thinking is something I value highly in our relationship. He is one of the most conscientious and dedicated people I know. It's no wonder he didn't last long in the trades and made his way back to school to finish his engineering degree. I will never forget one of the times we were out with the boys after he had just gone back to school and as the night was getting just to that tipping point of no return, he looked at me and said, I can't go out like this anymore. And he didn't. For the next two and a half years, there were maybe a handful of weekends he allowed himself to let loose a bit. While it was bittersweet to have so much of his time dedicated to school, we still met up as often as possible. It was during this period that he mentioned this Jane girl that he had started seeing. At first, I didn't give it much consideration, in the modern context of dating, I thought, we'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> but as the relationship progressed to the meeting each other's friends stage, and the three of us started spending time together, that quickly changed to, I really hope this one lasts. Whenever we met up, Jane would always greet me with a smile and a big hug. Getting to know her, I've seen how kind-hearted and caring she is. She was a nanny and a substitute teacher when we first met, and I remember thinking, perfect, someone who finally has the skills to take care of Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I know we were getting sick of telling him things like, look both ways when you cross the road. <laughs> Don't put that in your mouth, Joe. <laughs> no, you can't bring your new stick friend home with you. He belongs in the woods with the rest of the sticks. That last one is real and he still has that stick. <laughs> so thank you, Jane, for taking that bulk of the responsibility. <laughs> it's been a joy to watch your guys' relationship progress, seeing the beautiful home you two have built together and your growing family of pets. You truly bring out the best in Joe. There was a point at which I knew he was going to marry you. I can't trace it to a single moment but I sensed that same shift in priorities like when we were out that one night. His conversations and attitudes started getting more serious, and his focus became his responsibility to you and the relationship, and what he needed to do in order to fill his duties to those. I know how much he loves you and cares about you, and how much you add to his life. So even though it's another soldier down, <laughs> I couldn't be happier for the both of you, and I can't wait to see what your future holds. Well. About that time. Suppose I should get going. <laughs> Better head out before the roads get too bad. <laughs> but before I go, 
let's raise our glasses to give a toast to the newlyweds, Jane and Jill Swanson. still struggle to so this will be even more of a struggle I think that was great sorry that was great as was yours and John thank you I don't know how I lifted that either <laughs> um, we have family friends and co-workers here um, family um, I think what like eight different states that you came from <clears throat> so Jane and I really appreciate you making that long trek to be here with us tonight um, friends and co-workers respectively um, I suppose us extending an invite to be here tonight is also us extending our appreciation for the impact that you've had um, to any degree, whether it's at work, which has been huge. Um, for me, I can speak for myself. Um, and Jane, I think, would say the same. And everyone we haven't seen in forever, it's been so nice in the short amount of time, or what felt like a short amount of time, to bounce between you and shake your hand and give you a hug and to catch up really quick. And we just hope everyone enjoys tonight just as much as we are. We've been waiting for this for quite a while and it's kind of surreal that it's already here, but so far, barring any bad things happening, it's been <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so my last thing is um, I have a close friend that can't be with us tonight. Um, please drink and drive, or don't do that. <laughs> The best part was when I was thinking about this last night, I made the same mistake. And I was like, well, that would be awful. <laughs> Please drink responsibly. Uh, that's it. All right. <laughs> you know where I'm going with it. Don't be an idiot. Yeah, what he said. Um, I also just want to say thank you so much for everybody who came. I mean, you all are here, you all came. So I just really appreciate it, and it means so much to both of us that we have all of our favorite, favorite people in one room. And I get, there are people here that I haven't seen in like years, so I'm really, really happy that you came, and thank you for still coming and you know, real, knowing that I still care about you. <laughs> I'm not the best at communicating sometimes, but you, I still want you in my life, so thank you very much. <laughs> and let's party. Yeah. <laughs>